Okay, hi all and welcome to your tutorial on how to upload your work to the classroom and complete it. Okay, so I've got up here my year 11 class. It will be the same as in your classroom. You will go to your classes and you've got the option to choose the one that you're after. Okay, so we'll go into the year 11. Okay, now it, once I'm in here, if you look here, this will tell you what work you've got due. If you choose to view all, okay, it will show you any assigned work that is upcoming. Things that you are missing, so that's stuff that's been assigned currently. Things that you're missing, as in things that have passed the deadline. So in this case, I've got two because it's a fake student account, so we'll look at those in a minute. And then you will have a list of things that you've completed. Okay, right, so let's go back to where we were before, which is the 11C. Okay, so click into classwork, right? I don't need to track your work, but if you look here, you've got different tasks that have been assigned and different bits of information. So we'll go into this one, Bon Travail. Okay, so we click on there and it will show you the task. Okay, so, sorry, we'll click on that bit, there you go. So you click on this bottom section. Okay, and there's your task. So you press view assignment. Okay, now you can talk to your teacher on your private comments. So it will just tell you some different things as you go through. All right, this work is coming up as missing because I've missed the deadline. So it's late right now. If I want to write my answer to this work, what I need to do is simply click into this document that's been provided. Please don't create your own document, okay? Because in order to be able to mark work, your teachers will need to be able to use a Google Doc, okay? So what you need to do is click into this document that's already there for you and there you have it, the documents come up. Okay, now I can write straight onto this document. So if Mono, so it's Miss Hampton. Oops, excuse me. Okay, so Miss Hampton. Now I scroll down, there's my task, and the instructions are straight on the document. So it says, please insert your answer below here. So if I put my cursor there, okay, and my answer would be, so if we look at this first bullet point, les secteurs de travail qui vous intéressent. So let's start this with, je m'intéresse, m'intéresse à l'éducation. Okay, so I have a bit of an issue because I'm missing some accents. So there are two ways that you can tackle this. First off, you can clear this out. And then you go to add-ons, which is here. Okay, click on that. Go down to Easy Accents Docs, Easy Accents Start. And then theoretically your Easy Accent should come up here. Okay, the reason mine isn't is because the school hasn't uploaded it yet, but yours will and it will have different choices for accents. So you simply choose. If you wanted to have a capital, you press the shift button on your computer and press the accent button as well, okay? So I can't do that. So I'm simply gonna do it with my keyboard. So if I clear that away, right? Control Alt E will give you the accent that you usually use the most, which is the E accent aigu, okay? The other way that you can sometimes do this is if it comes up as being red, you can click onto your word and it will come up with the word with the accent. So you can choose to add that. If however, it's like this, which is an A that should have an accent, you need to highlight the letter because it's a single letter word and then your A accent should come up. So you click on that and there you have it. Okay, so there's my answer done. So now if I want to do a follow on task, so in this one, it does have a follow on task. So this is in a picture. So in order to make changes to the picture, because it says, check if you included some of the following things, improve your paragraphs by adding what you have missed out. So I need to be able to tick these off. So if I double click into that, it will bring it up for you. Okay, now I've got lots and lots of tools here that I could use. So for example, 
lines. So if I wanted to draw a line underneath it, the ones that I've done, so I could just simply go like that. There's my line. If I want to change the depth of the line, so we could have it thick like that so that you can see it. And because it's a full on task, I will need to change my line color to purple. Okay. Likewise, if I want to put a shape on there, I can add a circle so I can circle things. So like that. Now we have a problem because we've circled it, but you can't see anything through it. So if you click on this button here that says fill color, and it will give you the option to have it as transparent. So if I click that, now I can see what's underneath. Okay, and I can also change the color of that circle in the same way as I changed my line color. Okay, the other thing that you can do is to add a text box on this. So if you want to add some writing, so we can add a text box and we can write, for example, hello, whoops. Okay, now if I want to change the color of that, you go to this A and you can choose your purple. Likewise, you can make it bold, italic, you can underline it, the, all the usual things. You can make it larger, right? Change your font, whatever it is that you would like to do, okay? Right, so once you have done with all of the adjustments that you're planning on making to this, all you do is you hit save and close. Okay, and then there you have it. It appears with your documents or with your changes on it. Now, if I wanted to, for example, I forgot to show you this, add a picture inside this document. So I could double click on it again. And then you hit this little app. So it's image, right? And it will ask you where it is that you want to get this image from. So it would very much depend. You would usually have to have it saved onto your computer previously. Okay. All right. So save and close. There we go. Right. Now that I have done that, so I'm finished my task. It's all sorted. Um, what you need to know for this is if you look here, okay, you have got your task has already been renamed. Okay. And it gets named with your own name and then the original task name here. Okay. So dead simple. And also you don't need to save anything. It automatically saves for you. Okay. So let's just quickly erase that. Okay. Now, once I've decided that that's it, I want to hand it in. I can close it down because it's automatically been saved to your Google Drive. Okay. And don't forget, well, I'll show you where to get your Google Drive in a minute. But so I can close that off. Now, there's my task again. Okay. If you click back into your task, you can see that all the changes have been saved. So there's my name, the actual task being done. Okay, your follow on task done. Now, if I want to carry on writing underneath the follow on task, I can, so maybe I wanna make some changes. I can put, hello, miss, okay. And then we can, change the color. So we can make that purple because it's a follow on task. So it needs to be, I can also change the size. Okay. So let's go for, I don't know, something like 30 for this. Okay. Now, and if I close it down again, there is still, okay. Now that I've decided that I want to hand it in, what I need to do is press this button here, hand in. Okay. And it will hand you press hand in again, and it will hand your document in. Okay, and you might want to put a little message here. So hi, miss. Um, sorry, it's late. But here is my homework. Okay, here's my homework. Right, and then you click this little arrow here, and that sends your teacher a private message. Okay, and it tells them what time that you've actually sent it as well. Now, say I've handed it in and I decide that actually I'm not quite finished, I need to add something else. So you can hit this unsubmit button. Okay, and then it asks you to unsubmit it again. So that's like pulling it back off your teacher. Okay, you can click back into it and you can carry on doing 
any kind of adjustments that you want to do. So let's just add, hi there. Okay, right. Okay, we close this down and then you just hit hand in again like you did before, hand in, and it's been sent to your teacher, okay? Right, if you need to know when something is due, if you look just here, you have got the due date, okay? So that just simply says that it's due on the 27th. Unless there is a time written here, then it's due at midnight on whatever day this is, okay? So hopefully that will help. Right, um, and I think that's pretty much it for your tutorial. Oh, one last thing to add. Um, if you look in here, so you've got your Google Drive, this is where all of your documents will be saved. Okay, so in my drive, look, there's the one that I did today. So edited today, and you can click into that again. Okay, do you see? Um, all right, so thank you very much for listening. I hope this has helped. Please personal message me if you have any questions or you're still struggling to be able to submit your work effectively. Okay, thank you very much. And goodbye.